No! Briggs away! Go! No! No! no. no. He's got one more man to beat. Blumenthal makes the car! Come on, no! Come back. The 35, the 30, the 25. He's got one more man to beat. He yeah. outruns in Jerry Blumenthal. Shows the great speed. Yes! Down, no. Jerry Blumenthal! Cut down! No! No! Hold it just a moment. Wait, wait, wait. What? Back down at the 35 yard line. A flag on the oh, play! Yeah. Yeah. Good referee. No! You know what these Clipping. games mean? Why did you even ask me to watch this there stupid six point? They just they blew the touchdown. Yeah. 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 The last time the whole day, they're probably not even going to score again. It's only a game. Oh, thank you for saying that. Well, well, you're welcome. Heaven help us. We have a power play. Yeah, they'll have to bring it back. They have just lost the one chance for scoring a touchdown here in the first half. Oh, hello. Anybody know a good party we can have? Happy New Year, everybody. Right. Oh, it's called Bowl Fever, I believe. Well, I hope it isn't contagious. <laughs> oh. I think it's an admission. Oh, well. Yeah. Better luck in the next day, Jay. When did you get it? That was during our last interception. Huh. Wow, no wonder I didn't hear you come in. Well, what is it? Half time now? Half time. Good. Why do you think we left the television? Oh, why do you. What was that for? Because I might not see you again for the rest of the day. You won't. Uh, does anybody know if Patrick's going to come here today? No. Mm -hmm. Well, he must have one wicked hangover after last night. <laughs> you got home all right, didn't you? Yeah, I took the keys from him and I drove myself home. And boy, was Rick mad at him. What was that guy's problem, anyway? I don't know. I think he was upset about Terry and Kevin's engagement. Hey, is there anything new with that murder investigation? Any questions? Terry might be saying to Anna. Why don't you go play detective someplace else? Why should I do that? All the suspects are here, aren't they? Look out, Chad, I catch you in my room again, and you're gonna what? You should just try me, you'll find out. Hey, guys, come on, hey, what's hey. this all about? What is this, you searched his room? No, I was checking out the heating ducts, remember? He put the new furnace in, he told me to keep an eye on the system, that's what I was doing. Yeah, I did tell you that. Hmm? Just following the landlord's orders. Why couldn't you have followed him when I was there? You got something to hide? How would you like it if you caught me rummaging through your stuff? Well, I wouldn't worry about you finding anything, that's for sure. Listen, guys, if you want to mix it up, let's go to maybe your own rooms or something. Yay! Oh, Jerry, you're gonna have to go. Pizza. We thought you might want to join Bobby and Jake and us. Yeah, we thought you might like a slice of pizza. Nothing. It's all my fault. He's hurt. Let me help you. Sit down over here. All right. It's no big deal, really. Well, so tell me how it happened. Oh, well, he was helping me during maneuvers, and I fell on him. His ankle could be broken. It's not broken. You know what, no. Probably sprained. Well, are you going to be able to make it upstairs okay? Uh, look, don't... Uh, oh, sorry. Don't, so don't sorry. worry about it, okay? Listen, yeah. um... There's a few questions that we have to ask, if you don't mind. You got a minute? Well, yeah, I was on the way to the hospital, but I guess I have a minute. We were what talking kind to of Ramsey, okay, and he said that you had your keys stolen or lost or something, Yeah, well, right? they're, they're lost or maybe misplaced, I don't know. Do you uh, know when you lost them? Uh, not really, a while back, I guess. Can you remember if it was before the murder? The murder? I don't know why. Well, we're just trying to find out if they could have been stolen. Oh, no, I'm sure nobody stole them. I just hadn't really completely searched. Have you looked around your apartment for them at all? Well, yeah. Or? Look, they just haven't made an all-out search yet. Well, why not? Well, because it didn't seem that important to me. You know, we have to realize if it was just your house keys or was it your car keys? How about the keys to your office? Well, it was my... It was the office keys. It wasn't the car keys because I keep them on a separate ring. So when I lost the, ho uh, the hospital keys, they got it replaced. Well, you know when you did that? Yeah, it was a couple weeks ago. Um, how come you didn't have your house keys made again? Well, because there was always somebody here to open the door for me. Or I was with Tony. And you he can't remember when you lost yours, exactly. No, not specifically. Uh, do you remember the last time you used them? Gosh, I don't have any idea. Yeah. Well, I think that would help if you knew that. Wait a second. I got the door. Let me introduce you. This is my partner, Sam. Hi, Sam. Oh, hi, Sam. Well, what are you guys doing? Uh, I'll just spend a little time with my sister-in-law here. You don't mind if we use the living room. Well, sure. Go right ahead. You know Bobby loves when people feel at home here. Didn't you have some magazines you wanted to show me? Uh, yes. 
Come on, you're in my bedroom. Nice meeting you. Uh-huh. Let's go. Right, Captain what? and Terry, you reminded me of something. The exact same thing happened to Tony and me. What happened? We were coming home from the hospital. Tony forgot his key. We knocked on the door. Bobby came and answered the door. I was searching for the keys in the bottom of my purse. I found them. That was the last time I used them. Do you remember when that was? Um, Christmas time, because we were out shopping for presents. Before Christmas, which means it was before the murder. Yeah, it was before the murder. But they said that the murder was an inside job, right? Well, up until now, that was... That was what they thought, but no one broke into the brownstone the night of the murder. But that was before we knew you lost your keys. Well, or before someone stole them. So maybe it wasn't an inside job. It could be. Um, do you have to get back to the hospital right now? Uh, well, yeah. You don't remember anything else, though? No, not really. I'm sorry. All right. Um, thanks. You're okay. welcome. I gotta get some ice. Here, here, kill let me. me help you upstairs. No, 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 I'll help him. I feel bad enough about this already. You're inside. Okay. Yes, it kills. All right. Tanya, Sam will take care of me, all right? Don't worry about a thing. I know you gotta get to the hospital. I'll be fine. Oh, my God. That is what I am worried about. No, I cannot remember where or when I lost my keys. Just keep trying to remember. That's all I can ask, okay? I know. I will. Oh, what keeps me awake at night is thinking that it might have been my key that let the murderer into their brownstone. Now, don't let that get you down. We're still not ignoring the possibility that the murderer could still live in the brownstone. Well, that doesn't help me sleep any either. Yeah. Look, take another look at the sketch of the kidnapper, all right? Maybe it'll... Spark something in your mind that make you remember something about your keys. Oh, Frisco, good. I've been looking for you. I have this theory uh, <clears throat> about the murder. What's that? No, it means nothing to me, Frisco. This is the guy we're looking for. It's a sketch. Well, my theory have is... You, have you seen him before? Him? Yeah. yeah. Look at those squinty eyes. I'll tell you, this looks like a killer. Amy, have you ever, ever seen, seen the guy one. before? No, I've never seen him. But, you know, I see so many people at that station that you never really can remember that stuff. Now, my theory is that maybe this guy right here, maybe he's not just after Bobby. Maybe he hates all nurses. That means all of the girls in uniforms. I mean, we're Bobby in Bobby wasn't wearing her uniform when she was kidnapped, so your theory doesn't hold water. You don't think so? I don't think so. Oh. I just Sorry, what are the keys were on the key ring? Well, that's easy. Let's see. I had the key to the house. I had the key to this room, and I had the office key. Mm-hmm. The office key and the key to this room. Mm-hmm. Did you have a class in there that day? Yeah. Yeah, I did, as a matter of fact. I even have the same group today that I did then. Really? Mm-hmm. Do you think you could check with them for me and see if they know anything about your key? Yeah, sure, I will. All right. I'll be back in a little bit. I have to question the rest of the staff. Yeah, I have to go back to work, too. Hey, are you going to question everybody at the house? Well, it's a murder case, Amy, and there's a lot of legwork, and someone has to do it. Tomorrow, I'll see you all at the same time. Uh, Tanya, do you think, uh, you think you could hold him up for a minute? Yeah, sure. Could you all just wait for just a minute? This is Mr. Jones, and he works with the police department. Hello. Any luck with the sketch? No. No, but I'd, uh, I'd like to show it to him, if it's okay. Yeah, sure. Can you all take a look at a sketch that Mr. Jones has? It's, um, a sketch of a man the police are trying to locate. You've seen him? I'm, I'm trying to think. Have you seen this man in the hospital? Uh, no. Right. You're doing beautifully, Maureen. Uh, I'm having some speech problems uh, after my stroke. Mm-hmm. That's all right, Miss Gates. You just take all the time you need. I got all day. The face is familiar, but where I 
thought. When I thought, I... I don't know. D don't say... Don't say I don't know yet, okay? Look at the picture. Now close your eyes and just relax and let your mind wander a little bit. Take your time. He bumped into me uh, on the street. Yes, on the street. Any idea when? Oh, weeks, weeks ago. Now, Miss Gates, you're, you're doing great. You're doing just fine. Let's not, <clears throat> let's not worry about when right now, okay? Let's try to concentrate on where you might have seen this man on the street, okay? I dropped some packages. That's it. Do you know where you dropped them? Yes. And in front of the Port Charles Orphanage. Christmas packages. You were taking the packages to the orphanage? Yes. You know, I bet you'll even be able to remember what day that was. Can't you? Yes. It, it was two days before Christmas. The day Neil Johnson was murdered? Yes. Frisco Jones, please report to Anna Devane's office immediately. Well, do I have some news for her? Please report to Anna Devane's office immediately. You know what, Miss Gates? We're gonna do just fine. Leave her alone, I have to talk to her. Here's some class. Yeah, well, we were, but Chief Ramsey ordered us to question Tanya again. What about? The missing key. Oh, All right. I thought I had told you everything that I could possibly re remember. Well, we got to go over it again. Though. Can't this wait? You know, we've been up all night with a flu yeah. epidemic. Yeah, we'll make it as quick as we can. I'm sorry, bro. All right. Um, well, you know, Bobby and Terry aren't here, so we could have a fireplace. Let's right? do it. All right. Okay. Now, you told us that the last time you saw your key was right before the murder. Right? Yeah, that's right. Have you been able to pinpoint the day? I remember the day. You do. How do you remember it? It was the 19th. How do you remember that? Because I heard all day long five more shopping days till Christmas. Don't you remember that? Five more shopping days. Yes, five more shopping days. We had no presents then. I had to practically drag you out of the hospital. And I agreed only if we got everything. So we came home with all these right. presents in our hands. And then I said, you know, I don't have my key with me. And she did. So you both agree that it was the 20th, the 19th? The 19th is definitely, yeah. All right. All right. So Neil Johnson was murdered on the 23rd. When was the last time you saw your key? Well, the last time I remember using it was the 19th. What did you do that night? You came home and... Came home, we wrapped packages, we had eggnog, and we looked at the tree lights. Yeah. Oh, Tony. Anything else? Well, what about the next day? Where'd you go, Tanya? The next day? Yeah. It was a month. I don't remember what I it's did yesterday. My appointment book. book. Yeah, hold on a second. That'll tell me what I did. Where's it down? Just look the Yeah. Okay, so we want to find out on the 20th, the next day? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. The 20th. I had appointments with three outpatients. Okay. Three outpatients. I thought all your patients came to the hospital. No, I've got three cases of patients that, that I have to go to. Well, would you mind giving us their name and address? No, not at all. There's Mrs. Pirelli. Okay. And she doesn't live far from here. She lives on the waterfront. I think it's uh, 14 Bayview, apartment 6. All right. She had a stroke a few weeks back. You're a speech therapist, right? Yeah. And um, there's Mr. Marshall. He lives on Water Street. I believe it's 2519 Water Street. And he also is a stroke victim. You got that? Yep. Got it. That's two. What about the third? Um, Billy Watkins. He was up above the uh, Bucket of Blood. Mm -hmm. Bucket of Blood? Yeah. And his dad is the one who owns the Bucket of Blood. You know where that is, Frisco? Yeah. Yeah. So those are the only people that you said you work with? Yeah. That's it. And the rest of the day I sat in the office. And we looked at the office and there was no key.
All right, well, I thanks. Know. We'll check the people out as soon as we can. Then. No, it's possible that you dropped your house key in one of their homes. Well, yeah, I guess that's possible. I don't know. Well, good luck in finding them. Hey, listen, have you heard from Felicia? Yeah, when's she coming back from Texas? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I did. I heard from her uh, last night, actually. Her grandmother's getting getting better, and oh, she should be back next week. Uh, good. Good. Well, you guys be careful, okay? Yeah. yeah, especially it's a bucket of blood. You know what it's like down there for stuff. We'll be careful. I'm uh, sorry about this. But, uh, thanks. All right. Okay. Bye. Bye. You know something? I am glad Felicia's coming back soon. Yeah, I know what you mean. Sam's a pretty attractive girl. Mm, she is very. Well, you didn't have to respond quite so quickly, dear. I didn't. You're the one that said she was Yes, I know, but I didn't expect such an immediate response. I don't like to ask you. Know, yeah, are you sure? Yeah. Do you want your back scrubbed? Mm-hmm. Yes, it is. Can you search your back? Mm-hmm. Hold on. Let me go my coffee shop. Okay. I'll get the coffee. Okay. How'd you do that? I remember. How'd you want to scrub my back? Get up. <laughs> Felicia! Hey. Hi. Hi there. Oh, what a nice surprise. Yeah, oh, I thought nice. you weren't going to be back for a while. Oh, oh well, grandmother's better. She's going to be all right, I think. Yeah. Good news. Where's my brother? Uh, he's in the shower. Uh, what, he's not singing? Yeah, we just heard about the shooting this morning. He didn't come in last night or we didn't see him anyway. Yeah, that must have been a frightening scene down at the bus depot. Is he all right? Oh, I guess he's fine. Well, there was a great mention about him and that Samantha, what's her name, in the news this well, morning. Well, as an SW. What's the matter? I thought you were going to keep an eye on things, Tanya. What thing? Well, Frisco to start with. What's wrong? Wait a minute. Frisco is not singing. Something is wrong. What is it, Felicia? Felicia, this should be a time of celebration for you. You just got home again. A murder's been solved, and Frisco's some kind of hero. I come home, and I find this on this chair in our apartment, and it's not my blouse. Well, S S.W.? Good old Sam, and I don't mean Uncle. Now, wait a minute. Does he have an explanation for this? Mm-hmm. Well, what is it? He said he brought Sam here to fill out some police reports, and she started cooking spaghetti in my kitchen, and she spilled sauce on her shirt. That could happen. And just before they got back, went to the police station, she borrowed one of my blouses. Oh, come on now. Crazier things have happened. That's logical. Yeah, look, nobody is going to want to go down to the police station with a, with a red, blood-like spaghetti stain it's on their blouse. Sam is so... God, I hate to say this. So luscious. I can't help but feel jealous. No, I mean, face it, she's cynical material, right? Let me tell you something. Into every couple's life comes a Sam. Is that so? Now, don't start with me, but you know the way Gabby was in the I hospital. I know the way <laughs> Gabby was. Well, that's what I'm telling you. A husband may be true blue, but if there's a Gabby around, it's going to cause problems for you. Hi. Oh. thought I heard voices. Let's go. Honey, I'm all wet. I don't care if you're wet. I love you. Congratulations, brother. Yeah, from both of us. Thanks. I've got to call Anna and thank her for stopping that gun before he hurt you. Frisco, you are the brown. So we're going to bring you your cock in the hay. Well. My hero. You get to sit in the place of honor wherever that is. Well, how about that? We come downstairs and we find a well, small party. Say, <laughs> yeah. that's fruitcake left over from Christmas. It's pretty good. What could it place with? You know what? How come uh, Kevin and Patrick aren't here for the celebration? Uh, Patrick's going to be here any minute. He's gone his way from general. And Kevin had to go over Anna's and clear up some questions. That's too bad about somebody bumping into Anna yesterday. Otherwise, that guy Russell would be alive to answer some questions about the murder. Well, let's not talk about the murder anymore. Anyway, I'm glad I've got you two here because I want to ask you a question. What? Kevin's not here and I just can't wait. <laughs> would, uh, would, would you two be my bridesmaids? <laughs> would I? Yes, yes. Uh, yes, I'd love to. Well, I gotta warn you, this one cries bucket. Well, <laughs> 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 yeah, you know, I just want to keep the wedding fairly simple. Pretty, but Well, simple. pretty you've got. I mean, look at <laughs> <you're> here. <laughs> you want some fruitcake? Oh, 
Did Jake take a bite or did you? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well, this looks pretty good. Did you doesn't matter, you kiddo. Know. She can ask you to be a bridesmaid. <laughs> I know. Well, I guess maybe she figures I wouldn't have time because I have to make all these things. All right. Everything. Hold it. Hold it. Just one more thing. One more thing, everybody. Um, Bobby. Yeah? Um, I'd like to uh, ask you an important request. Well, it can't be to be a bridesmaid because you've already got two. <laughs> yeah. Um, I would really like you to be my matron of honor. <laughs> would you? Yeah. Oh, all right. Well, wait, 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 wait. Does Kevin need any ushers? Ushers? Yeah. <laughs> tickets, please, madam. Tickets, please. Oh, I see that. Ten for on the left. Ten for on the left. <laughs> well, tell us, when is it going to be? And, and, and what dresses are we going to wear? How are we going to pick out the dresses? Well, I don't, I don't know. Um, Kevin's not here, and I really shouldn't make that decision without okay. the group. No, it's okay, you can, because technically the bride picks the day. What if oh. I pick a day he's on duty? <laughs> well, technically right. that would be okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Yes, you did. You walked into an impromptu party, and you're welcome, and come on in. Yes. Well, maybe because Russell definitely calls for a celebration, <laughs> but uh, where's my brother? Uh, well, uh, he went to Anna's office, so she had some questions for him. Oh, she got a hold of me at the hospital, too. Yeah? I've come to see how my patient is. I say she's glowing, wouldn't you, Doctor? I'd say you're right. I feel wonderful. Yeah. Well, we've been celebrating, because first we were <laughs> celebrating the end of the nightmare in the brownstone, and then we were yeah. celebrating the wedding, except it's not officially up, because the girl... <laughs> this woman back more information in one day than any woman I've ever seen. Well, we're delighted to be a part of it. Uh, yeah. Where is the wedding going to be? Well, in Lawleton, uh, if my grandmother still says it's okay and makes the arrangements. So Samantha and I needed some sort of cover in order to trail this guy Russell at the bus depot, right? So we decided that we would be honeymooners. It's the best thing we could think of. You should have pretended you were brother and sister. Just... Bobby, Jake told us what you wanted to do. Huh? I think it's a great idea. So do I. So you don't mind pitching in? No, it would make a nice wedding present from all of us. Maybe we all better look at the attic first before we all volunteer. It's an awful mess up there. Oh, it's just dusty and cluttered. All it needs is a little clean. And some paint and some wallpaper. Frisco, you haven't been saying anything. Will you have time to help? Um, yeah. Yeah, I'll probably have a time today to help out a little. You don't have to go to the police academy? No. No, not today. Day off after all the excitement yesterday. What happened yesterday? Um... Well, some of the cadets took over the uh, precinct and <clears throat> sort of screwed it up a little. Screwed up how? I don't really want to go into it. It's uh, sort of painful to Well, I don't have any classes today, and I don't have to work, so first go and I can start by cleaning up the attic. Yeah, I'm due at the hospital, but I'll uh, pitch in later. Yeah, me too. Hey, do you want to give us a list, maybe, and over lunch down we can pick up some supplies? Oh, great. I'll be in OR with Rick most of the day, but I can work later tonight. I've okay. got some clients. A little bit later, I can go get some paint right now. Harry and Kevin are going to be so surprised. I think this is going to be a lot of fun. Mm, fun. Okay, bye-bye. Yeah, we'll we're going to get going. You going to come, Bobby? Oh, right, yeah. I'm with you. Okay, okay. see you guys later. And I will bye. be right back with some paint for you. Bye-bye. I'm getting married in the morning. Ding dong, the bells are going to chime. He's meeting us at the airport. He had to do something first. Well, we better go, huh? Yep. Yep. Kevin and Terry, here we come. I'll get the bag. Okay. Yeah, knowing you, you'll elope. Probably. Well, I have been practicing my wedding strut, and I'm going to be the best giver away of the bride you've ever seen. You're going to be the only one who's ever done it wearing those things. What are you guys talking about? Yeah, yeah, don't yeah. you think she looked a little tight? Yeah. You mean like drunk? No, nervous. I don't know, I was wondering the same thing, sort of. It didn't seem like either of them wanted to be in the church. Oh, come on, that's nervous jitters. Now it's going to be a great trip, but waiting to take off can be hell. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should stay grounded for a while, huh? No way, I have no intention of missing that time. <laughs> Can't we just go stand by? <laughs> So you gave me that to your word, I yeah, Me and my big mouth, huh? Oh, Jake, uh, hold on to those shoes. I may need to borrow them. Sure thing. After the wedding, though. It was
I think we should postpone this. Uh, Tony, what do you think? I'll be all right. Well, I don't know. Her pulse is racing, but that's pretty natural for a bride. Tony? Frisco may be right. Oh, I, yeah. I think she looks really pale. Yeah, I do, too. I think you look extremely pale. Terry, it doesn't matter if you get married today right. or you get married tomorrow. She hasn't quite been herself today, has she? Right, honey. You don't have to get married today if you don't want to. So what do you think, Tony? Oh, no. It could be just a jitter. Um, how do you feel, Terry? I know I'll be fine. You've had a few shocks today, Terry. Mm -hmm. I am getting a very strange feeling about this whole thing. Yeah, just an intuition. Listen, I think you ought to listen to Bobby. Trust her feelings. You want to try to get up? Yeah. Okay. Oh. Easy. Oh. Don't force What's yourself. What's going on don't. here? It's just the bridal jitters. Uh, at least you look all right to me. I am my mother. Oh, now, pull yourself together. All laurels in this wedding from this purity. Okay, wedding time. <clears throat> Are you sure? If Anna doesn't get here soon, they're going to be married. intensive care unit, so there's nothing we can do till she regains consciousness. Will she regain consciousness? I don't know. <laughs> Felicia, it's going to be all right. I'm sorry I didn't bring better news. There's nothing you can do. Hey, Felicia, come on. We'll go to my apartment and we'll talk a little bit. It's going to be okay. Honey, why don't you go with Tanya for a while, okay? Come on. She's had a rough time on it. Listen, the best piece of news I've heard is that Jake and Bobby are coming home. Yeah. I talked to the nanny again. Rick and Jenny are still looking for Mike. I tell you, raising kids nowadays, that's something, you know, you young people ought to give a thought to. Listen, don't listen to her, okay? You two, I want you to work on lots of nieces and nephews for me. And if you need some help, I have this lawyer acquaintance downtown. <laughs> well, speaking of that, we are counting on it. <laughs> so am I. All I need is a wedding ring. Well, honey, we will get the wedding ring as soon as I get my first official paycheck as a police officer. <laughs> Remember? Mm. So how many children are you guys officially counting on? I was thinking maybe um, three or four. Or mm -hmm. four or one. At least you're close. You are talking about children. Right. <laughs> Same volume. Well, I think I'd better go to the telephone and call around the waterfront and try to find either Jimmy or Rick. Good idea. Yeah. No, it's just strangest thing because Ruby you, hi there excuse me you heard, uh, no but Frisco has Jenny, some news you got news yeah what news within the last 24 hours we know for sure that Mike was okay oh my god now listen listen he's in Port Charles which means that Jeff is probably with him too oh I what I, how do you know this well the whole story might boil down to the fact that Mike 
might be what? a hero. What? Now, just a second. You know, the camera that Ruby got off that street character, yes, right? Yes, what about it? Well, Anna had the idea that we might check out the tape that was in the camera. And, uh, there might be some information what, on what it. What would Mike be doing taking pictures? Oh, I don't know what he would be taking picture for, but he, he was taking this pictures. This guy was probably an old tape that was already in the camera. No. Because what was photographed was photographed yesterday afternoon. Oh, my God. I understand. Close. And he's all right. It's all right. I gotta talk to Rick. No, 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 don't, don't leave. I want you to stay right here because I just called home, and he wasn't there yet. All right, Jenny, don't leave. The chances are he's gonna check in. Don't just a minute, he'll check in just like don't you did. It means he's alive. It's something I gotta talk to Anna, please. Come on, come on, sit down. I know that Anna's tied up. She's at the hospital right now.